everybody. This is Marty um, from PhotoDX. I'm a member of the office team and I've been spending more time here at home due to the current health environment. Um, while I'm here, I'm trying to think of positive things that I can do that I enjoy. And so today I'm going to show you how to make a, a pineapple upside down cake. Um, this is a beautiful cake for the springtime and I think you're going to really like it. To be able to show this to you, I am uh, using two PhotoDX products that we sell. The Too Light Sky Filler Kit. This was super easy to set up. And I'm also using a cell phone gimbal so my images look professional and not too jittery. So let's get started. Um, preheat your oven to 350 degrees and you're going to spray your 9 inch pan with a non-stick cooking spray. I've melted a quarter cup of butter in this nine inch cake pan, and I've also drained a large can of pineapple rings, reserving the juice. We're gonna use a quarter cup of that juice later in the cake batter. So you're gonna cover the butter with two thirds cup of brown sugar and um, mix it well. Then what we're gonna do, start doing is just arranging our pineapple and our cherries in a pleasing manner in the bottom of the pan. Try to get it up the sides too because that's going to be really beautiful once we um, bring this out of the oven and put it on its cake platter. We've put our cherries and our pineapple in the bottom. At this point if you want to add pecans or walnuts you certainly can. I haven't um, but it would be uh, additionally very nice. So the first thing we're going to do to start our cake um, batter is we are going to, um, in my mixer I have a half a cup of butter and I also have, that's been softened, and a quarter cup of brown sugar. And we're going to mix this. It will need to mix for about four minutes until it's light and fluffy. I've already pre-mixed a lot of it. Then what we're going to do is we're going to add one egg at a time. it's really nicely mixed. We're going to add one teaspoon of vanilla. And so once this is done, we're going to scrape down the bowl. So now what we're going to do is we're going to start working on our cake batter itself. And so what I've done is I've mixed together in a separate bowl one half teaspoon of salt and one and a half teaspoons of baking powder one and a half cups of all-purpose flour. Um, now when I, when I measured the flour, I, I scooped it into the container and I leveled it off before adding and mixing it. So that what we're going to do next is we're going to add this together in three batches. First we're going to add a quarter cup of milk with our mixer on low. And we're going to add this flour in three batches so it doesn't go crazy on us and get all over my kitchen. Move this down for just a second because I want to get it all mixed in there. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is add our sour cream. We have a quarter cup of sour cream here. Add some more flour in. Next, we're going to add our pineapple juice. We reserve the pineapple juice. This is a quarter cup of pineapple juice. And then we're going to have our last bit of flour that we're going to add. Now, if you find like your flour is wanting to kick up on you and you don't have a guard to keep it from spraying all over your kitchen, the trick that I do is I cover my mixer with a towel. That way, it doesn't get all over. But this is looking pretty good. I'm just going to scrape it down one more time and then we're going to be ready for putting it in our pan. Just one more little mix to get the rest of the little bits of flour. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add it to our cake pan here. I'm going to spoon it over the top. I want to get a nice, even bit of batter over the whole pan so it evenly cooks. And when we take this out, it looks glorious. Just start spreading that around. I've got more in the pan that needs to go. 
The next thing we're going to do is we're going to pop this in an oven. It's going to bake at 350 degrees for 45 to 55 minutes. And once our cake is done, we're going to take it out of the oven and we're going to check and make sure that it's clean with the toothpick through the middle. We'll let it cool for 10 minutes and then we'll be ready to unpan it. So here we go. Here you have it, our beautiful pineapple upside down cake that we made while we were staying home. And hopefully you will enjoy this. This is a beautiful dessert for the spring. It's a beautiful dessert to enjoy um, for Easter or just because you want something fun to do. And um, I'm glad that I was able to, to share this with you and I wanna thank you for watching this video and um, just remember we're all gonna get through this together. Thank you, bye-bye.